uh, Imam bin Baz, rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentions, he says, al-arkan," And to keep the order of the pillars, to perform the pillars in their order. Kama hiya muratabatun fil hadith al musi'i salata, just as they come in order in the hadith of the one who prayed badly. When the Prophet Sallallahu taught him how to pray, he went over every position in order. He didn't skip order or go out of order, but everything was in its proper order. Naam. فَفِي كُلِّ رُكْنٍ كَانَ يَقُولْ لَهُ In every um, pillar, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said to him, ثُمَّ فَعَلْ كَذَا Then do this. ثُمَّ فَعَلْ كَذَا Then do this. So there was an order. Naam, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam utilized the word ثُمَّ فَعَلْ كَذَا ثُمَّ فَعَلْ كَذَا Then do this, then do that. وَثُمَّ This word ثُمَّ تُفِيدُ تَرْتِيبُ Then it is understood by it, what? In order. Naam, it is understood by it in order. That things happen in a particular order. That this thing happens first, then the next thing will happen. Naam that this thing happens first and then the next thing will happen. So it is incumbent that we keep and we maintain the order of the prayer. And in order to do that, we have to learn what is the order of the prayer. What positions comes first and what position follows it and what position follows it, so on and so forth. So learning how to pray and teaching our children how to pray and making sure they're praying correctly then this is uh, of extreme importance. Now.